Hey everybody, it's Mr. N here, and here's another Related Rates <coughs> example uh, worksheet. On this one, we're dealing with equilateral triangles and squares. So these are shapes that are increasing at certain rates, and typically on these shapes, we're being asked something about the sides or the area. So let's take a look at this first one. It says, <coughs> the sides of an equilateral triangle increase at a rate of 3 inches per second. So here's what we're given. We are first given that this is an equilateral triangle. So we'll do our best to draw an equilateral triangle here. Not so good. And this increases at a rate, the sides over here, we know they increase at a rate of 3 inches per second. So this is a rate, so that means this is a ds dt. You can call it dx if you want to call your sides x. At what rate is the area increasing? So the rate area, they're asking we need a dA dt when the sides are 12 inches. So this is when s equals 12. So that's all my givens, and let's see what we can do with this. Well, the first thing we need is a formula. So we have an equilateral triangle. The area of a triangle is 1 half times the base times the height. Well, if I call this s, that's s, and that would be s as well. So I can rewrite this to be 1 half times s times h. So this is the height right there. But this is an equilateral triangle, so we've got 60 degree angles there. Now, if it wasn't, you might have to... Well, if it wasn't equilateral, you might have to use sine cosine, but in this case, they're going to keep these pretty simple with, as far as the types of triangles, and this one is equilateral. Sometimes they might do 45, 45, 90 type triangles as well. But in any case, since this is 60, <clears throat> I can solve for this S. If I take this out, that's 60, that's S. This is S over 2 because it's half that. This will be S over 2 root 3. Why? Because I know my 60, 30, 90 triangles. So I'm going to replace this formula. Instead of 1 half, shh, we're going to say the area equals 1 half. And this height right here I solved for to be S over 2 square root 3. And this is this S. Oops, forgot to write that S in there. That S stays there. So the formula, let's rewrite that so you could see that a little bit clear, is 1 half times S times this height that I replaced, s over 2 square root 3. So let's clean all this up, and we get the area equals root 3 over 4 s squared. All right, at this point, I can implicitly differentiate with respect to time. So let's do that. So I have dA dt on the left side. On the right side, I have root 3 over 4. There's my constant times 2 s ds over dt. Cleaning this up a little bit, I'm going to end up with root 3 over 4, so this is my dA dt, and I should have just done that to make that a 2 right there for you, save ourselves a step. Now I can substitute in the s. I know when the sides are 12, and I also know ds dt, that was in the problem. I'll substitute that in. So we have the sides is 12 inches, and we have ds dt as 3 inches per second. We can go ahead and solve for dA dt. And in this case, we will get <clears throat> this. We'll reduce with that to make it a 6 times 3 is 18. 18 root 3 inches squared per second. So that's an area per time. All right, let's take a look at the second problem. So in the second problem, we have the sides of a square are decreasing at a rate of 2 centimeters per second. So here's my given again, and I have a square, and these sides are decreasing at 2 centimeters per second. So I made it negative, and that's going to be my ds dt, assuming I call these sides s. When the, so we want to know what rate is the area decreasing when the sides are 30. So we need dA dt, and here we're given the sides are 30, so s is 30. Okay, now again, on these problems, they could make it so you're solving for 
the DSDT based on the area changing. So they could just flip it around. I'm doing the basics for you here so you understand the setup of these. And then at that point, you can just substitute in whatever you need to. Over here, we need and we have, we know the area of a square is side squared. So let's go ahead and implicitly differentiate this. DA DT equals 2S DS DT. All right, now I can plug in values I know. So DA DT equals 2, and S is going to be when it's 30 centimeters. And I know what DS DT is, it's decreasing at negative 2 centimeters per second. So now let's go ahead and finish this problem. So DA DT equals, this will be negative 4 times 30, which would be negative 120 square centimeters per second. Now notice the negative because we are decreasing, the area is decreasing. All right, hopefully that helped uh, with more related rates and good luck on your related rates questions.